All right, so today I have an instructional video. How to replace the thermostat and thermostat gasket on this 1998 Ford Crown Victoria. The engine, of course, is gonna be the 4.6 liter standard V8 engine. I use this Stanley tool set commonly available at Walmart for about 70 bucks. It has just about all of the extensions and sockets necessary to work on this engine on top of the Allen wrenches and such. The first step is going to be removing this cover. This is what you'll use. Now as you can see the problem here is that's leaking a little bit. On top of the fact that I've also had some issues with the thermostat so that'll be replaced as well. So we take the 10 millimeter socket, slowly bust them loose. All right, now that that's done, I'm using a fail-safe thermostat as well as a Duralast gasket. What you'll have to do, go on the underside of this with a pair of pliers, remove the gasket from here, from just inside. I've already done so. Now, take the thermostat, gently drop it into place right there. Then you'll take the gasket itself, apply it right in there, make sure it's seated correctly. All right, there we go. And then of course, just place the water outlet housing right back on top, make sure it's seated correctly. Snug, air, snug everything down just right. If you want to, you can make sure things are torqued down correctly if you care to be that precise. Me, I just like to make sure things are good and snug. And, oh, I'm going to have to take this by the car wash, I guess, and spray off the coolant. But and then that should be that. Once all is said and done, put the cover back on, reattach. Make sure to check the coolant level. Should be fine right now, but once it starts up and gets going, the coolant level may drop because there's no air in the line. So make sure to top that off after a while and should be good to go.